Hello. In this video, I'm going to take the pseudocode for bubble sort and implement it in Python, then check to make sure it works. Let's get started. I've got here the Wikipedia article for bubble sort, and I'm going to jump down to the pseudocode implementation. In another video, maybe I'll explain why this works, but right now I just want to demonstrate the process of going from pseudocode to Python code. So I've got my PyCharm IDE open here, just a code editor with lots of extra features is what an IDE basically is. And um, it says procedure bubble sort. Procedure in Python, I read as define a function, and that's def. So we're going to def bubble sort, and I'm using Python snake case because that's the convention. And instead of using a as they did in here, I'm going to use arr for array because it's lowercase, and that's what Python likes, or that's what Python developers like, maybe. I don't think Python cares. I just realized that Python and snake case go together because Python is a kind of snake. I literally just realized that. Okay, moving on. What, what's the first thing this array does? It finds n, which is the length of the array a. So let's do n equal length of a r r. And what's next? We have a repeat until not swapped. Now there are a couple of ways to do repeats in Python. For now I'm going to do while true, but I will probably um, refine that as we go along. But for now that just gets us started. While true, swapped equal false. That's simple. That's just a boolean value. So let's set that. Swapped equal false. For i equals 1 to n minus 1 inclusive do. So for that we can write a for loop for i in range 1 comma n and notice that it was n up to n minus 1 inclusive. Well Python range is exclusive at the end so if we go um, up to range n it'll be it'll be n minus 1. If this pair is out of order, so that's if array at i minus 1 is greater than array i, um, I guess it doesn't like that syntax. Oh, forget about the comment. If array i minus 1, so if the one in front is greater than the one behind, then we need to swap a minus 1 with a and then do something else that I'll get to in a moment. And th since this is Python, we have a nice way to swap things. We can say array a minus 1 comma array i equals array at i comma array at i minus 1. That's nice. What else did it do here? It swapped them and remember something changed. So now we have to set the variable swapped equal to true. Okay, what next? And if, now what's an and if in Python? It's an unindent. So if I hit the delete key once, it boop, brings me back one layer of indentation. Now we have another end for. So we go back another level of indentation. And now notice we're in line with this for loop. And the next one, um, until not swipe, swapped, swiped, what? Until not swapped then we, we have to go back another layer and now we're in line with while true and 
I have to do something to f now for it to decide whether it should continue. And the way I'm going to choose to do that is while not swapped. And for that I need to set swapped equals true out here. So I'm kind of rearranging things from the bottom of here up to here. I I could write it a little differently to make it look more like the pseudocode, but I like this way of going about it. And that brings us to there, then what? End procedure. And how do we end that? We just on indent and we're clear. Okay, let's let's test this out now. My array equals I'll try to make random numbers even though I know I can't actually really be random. Not 029, it doesn't like that. <laughs> I said the exact same number twice. I told you I can't be random. Okay. That's my array. Print my array. My sorted array. Ah, uh, you know what? I forgot something, which is to return something from this function. Return array. Notice that we've been sorting it in place, which means we're changing the data in the array as we go through this. My sorted array equals bubble sort of my array. Let's print my array. OK, run that. Oops. How about we print my sorted array? That might be more dramatic. This is embarrassing. Did I make a mistake? Well, this is going to be a debugging video, too, now. What did I do wrong? good to me so far. Print new pass. Print I. Wait. Is it running? Is it even running? Yeah, though it's running. But it's not doing anything. Oh. Yep. I got my logic wrong here. It should be while swapped is true. If it's not swapped, we want it to exit. So if it has been swapped, we want it to stay in. It makes it a little bit... Well, I guess ha by having this on the outside, it's like we, as we go into it assuming that there's probably something swapped. There's probably something out of order. And if it turns out there's nothing out of order, we only have to go through one time. I'm getting into performance issues. I'm going to stop doing that. But I'm going to now try running it. And it prints a bunch of times, and it gives us an ordered list of numbers. So there you have it. A Python implementation of bubble sort and a debugging session where I got the logic backwards on whether or not it should be swapped. Alright, thanks for watching.